Hey, how's it going? In this video, we're going to be starting our series on how to make blackjack in Java. This is going to be a three part series with the first video being the card class, the second video being the deck class, and the last video being the main class that's going to take care of a lot of the other variables that are outside of just what a card has and what a deck does. So to start out, we're going to be using Visual Studio Code. It's a free online IDE. It's an integrated development environment. And what you can do with that is code in Java. So if you need to download that to get started with this, just go download it. It's called Visual Studio Code. It's up here. To start out, we're going to write the car class. So we're just going to make the declaration for the class. So public class card. And then the next thing that we're going to do is create an enumeration to represent the value of our card. So what I mean by that is that in Blackjack, we're using a standard deck of 52 cards. And these cards have a suit and they have a value. So these values are represented ace, two, three, four, five, so on, jack, queen, and king. And it's easiest to represent these values as an enumeration instead of using like an integer. So the reason for that is in blackjack, an ace can be a one or an 11, and we can't have it, we can't assign an integer to both of those values. In addition to that, representing jack, queen, and king as integers would get a little bit confusing if we assign them to like 11, 12, and 13, or just assign them all to 10. So we're just gonna create an enumeration to do that for us. So how do we create an enumeration? We can do that by writing public enum value. And then inside of here, we can declare the values we want for our value enumeration. So we're gonna write ace, two, three, four, and we're going to do that through king. So now the next thing we're going to do is create a method that's going to allow us to access an individual um, value in this enumeration and then we're also going to create another method that gives us the length of all the values in our enumeration so this first method that we're going to create is going to be a public static method and we're going to call it get values And this is going to take an index, an integer. So now we're going to create an array that holds the values of all of the enumeration. So we're going to just make an array of values. We're going to call it values. And then we're going to put all the values of this enumeration into here. And we can do that with the dot values method. So value dot values. And then we're just going to return the particular index that we got from our parameter. So what we're getting from here, that's the element that we're going to turn using that index. So we can write values index. All right. And now for our second method, this is just going to return the length of all these enumerations. So one through 10, 11, 12, 13. So it should be 13 different values. So we're just going to do public static int and we'll just call it get value length and we're just going to return value dot values dot length and now for a second uh, numeration we are going to 
create a suit enumeration because that is the other thing that a card has it's its second attribute that it has so we can do that with the same way public enum just call it suit and then here in blackjack it's just a standard deck of playing cards so we have hearts we'll just say heart diamond club spade and then we're going to make the same type of method so first thing we're going to do is public static return a suit this time get suits index a suit array call it suits and we'll say suit dot values and like i said we're just putting these suits inside of here all of these um different enumeration we have just putting it into this array and then we're going to turn at that particular index And then for our second method, same thing as the one above with the get value length. We'll just call this int get suit length. Return suit dot values dot length. So now we're gonna actually create these attributes of this class. So outside of this bracket we're just going to put private suit suit and then here we're just going to put private value value and now we're going to create a constructor for our class so when we want to construct a card we can just pass it in a suit and a value so constructor public card suit suit value value and we'll say this dot suit equals suit this dot value equals value and just in case you don't know this dot suit is just referring to this suit this particular suit so in vs code you can see and you highlight it will show you which suit so this suit is the same as this suit and then this value is the same as this value and then this suit on the right side is the suit that we're passing in same thing with the value so now we're going to just create some getters so when we want to get the suit value public suit get suit just going to return type is suit so we're going to just return that suit that we have return this dot suit same thing for our value public value get value turn this dot value and finally we're going to make a two string method and in this method all we're going to want to do is just return what we want the card to look like when we're calling it so first fix this so yeah we just want to return what the card looks like so you know a diamond seven um a heart ten a club of kings so we're just going to turn this dot suit plus a underscore plus this dot value So that's going to wrap it up for this card class. In the next video, we're going to be making the deck class and we're going to mostly be showing like what a deck would do in Blackjack, like writing out what it would do. If this video helped you out, please leave it a like and also subscribe to the channel to follow up with the next video in the tutorial. And I'll see you all in the next one.